My honest answer is I think they're both quite damaged people. Robin's damage is very obvious. We, we you know, it's, um, bec it's been explicit since I think the third book. I'm trying to remember when she told Strike what had happened to her. I think it's book three, yes. Um, that she has been through something um, very traumatic and that affected her relationships and it affected her life. Now his trauma is very obvious also, he's lost a leg, but I think he's quite damaged and in this book, you, uh, emotionally, and you see in this book what his childhood was and it was a very odd childhood and a very disrupted one. So my feeling has always been that they need to do a degree of healing before they are fit or he particularly is fit to have a relationship of the kind I know a lot of readers would like them to have. They do take a big step forward in this book, but it's not quite the step forward I think some people would want to see. The interesting thing to me about both their previous relationships is that they cho each chose their previous partner um, in their teens. And it's quite revealing who you gravitate towards when you're just out of your first family. And Strike, clearly not consciously, chose a very volatile person who would really guarantee that the drama of his childhood continued. That's not to say that he didn't love Charlotte because it's, it's clearly marked him for a long time and they were together on and off, as he always says, for 16 years. And Robin really did the reverse. She went towards a place of safety but that's because she'd been through trauma that made this first boyfriend seem like the safe, the safe bet. Now, of course, it didn't work out that way for her. I think Strike's still got some growing to do where Charlotte's concerned before he's fit to have anything resembling a normal relationship. Because we've seen him through the series serially choose women with whom there's really no future, and he knows that. And I, I don't think it's accidental that he keeps doing that. I think, that's, I think that's exactly right, he does. People like that can be difficult to be around if, you know, if, if a settled life is not what they want. He's asking himself some hard questions about what he really wants, and in this book he does start asking questions. On a couple of occasions, he, he, um, he witnesses a birthday of a very old lady, and it does pass his mind, if I reach that age, who'll be there with me? So. It's, it's not that he doesn't acknowledge that there is an attraction to, more, to a more settled life, but I think he really fears it. I think he fears it because he's never seen a model of a successful relationship that he would as aspire to. That's his problem. Well, is it his problem if he's happy, you know?